Well, 2020 has been rough for everyone, so it is no surprise many are finding comfort in this holiday. In a timeless tale, a classic movie is being reimagined as a staged radio play to bring cheer and a little bit of art at a time when we all need it the most. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne with how the Waukesha Civic Theater is reminding all of us it's still a wonderful life. <laughs> For the first time since March, actors are returning to the stage at the Waukesha Civic Theater in front of a live audience. It's so like fulfilling to be back here and to be working on something and to be able to provide opportunity to all these artists that get to be working on the show as well. Ryan Albrechtson is directing the show. It's a story you know is a holiday tradition. I'd like to live in it. In that place? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't live in as a ghost, now watch. But right stripped the down there, to okay? dialogue and sounds. How about that, huh? Pretty good shot, broke a window. It's a wonderful life unfolding as a 1940s radio play. What's your wish, George? Well, not just one wish, a whole half -old. Mary, I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet and I'm gonna see the world. It really puts you in the moment, so it's been really interesting to play with all of that. And if you closed your eyes, you'd feel like you'd see the whole thing. Staging the play like this helped the production navigate strict COVID safety guidelines. How can we keep income? coming in. How can how can I keep our staff um, working? Executive Director Rhonda Schmidt explains the cast keeps six feet apart and wears see-through masks during the performance. The audience will wear masks too, but there won't be as many of them in the seats. We cut costs tremendously because having 65 audience members instead of 250 is, is really impactful financially. Throughout the pandemic, the theater faced its own George Bailey crisis. Get me back to my wife and kids. Help me, Terrence, please. Please. I want to live again. During the shutdown, staff wondered what Waukesha would be like if financial burdens forced the place to close for good. Donations and loyal theater goers proved to be their clearance right in time for the holidays. I told you I'm your guardian angel. I know everything about you. When we're on stage and and the mood has been set and Clarence speaks and tells us it's going to be all right, that's it's a moment that I certainly need. <laughs> and I, I know that everyone involved in this production uh, feels honored to be able to tell this story and to give a little bit of this this hope to our community. The Waukesha Civic Theater ending a rough 2020 with a reminder to us all, after everything we've been through, it's still a wonderful life. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. That's right. Out of boy, Clarence. With photojournalist Aaron Fry in Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. I still think that every time I hear a bell ring, it's a wonderful life. A live radio play continues at the Waukesha Civic Theater through December 20th.